Improvements have been made to drilling cycles in Powermill 2015 R2. First of these is the ability to reference an existing stock model and stock model state for drilling height definition. So if I activate a uncalculated toolpath, go into settings, in the define top by drop down list, where we have whole top, component top, block, we now have a stock model option. So if I leave it on block and calculate, uh, we can see now the blue lines are representing our cutting toolpath. So the cutting toolpath is starting at the edge of the block and then it is cutting all the way in until it reaches the desired hole depth. So this is inefficient as it is increasing cutting time when we could be rapiding down to a safe height and then cutting from there. So now with our reference stock model option, if I go into settings and choose to define the top by the stock model, I'm just going to turn on the stock model so we can see how much material we have left. Let me just change that to a shaded view. We can see that we can pretty much go to the top of the feature definition and start our drilling from there. But by defining the top by the stock model, we are also including any excess material that has been left on by previous cutting operations. So once we define the top of our drilling by the stock model, we get a stock page on our left hand side. Here we can choose the stock model we are referencing. We can also choose the stock model state from which we want to calculate the top of our hole by. So if I go ahead and calculate that, you can now see that the tool rapids to a safe height above our stock and then it will continue to drill out the material from our hole. So all of the distances are now defined from the stock model state which we have chosen. In addition to the ability to define the top of a hole by a stock model, we have also added in the different output options available when automatic collision checking a drilling cycle. So because we are referencing a stock model, we can now collision check against the stock and we can also choose the type of output which we want if a collision occurs. So we can choose to output the safe and the unsafe moves. We can split the safe moves up and we can also choose to only output the safe moves for the safe holes only. So these two changes just give the user much more freedom in how they want PowerMill to behave when drilling.